Hello everyone, um, this is my discussion about Teddy. Um, I think that 10-year-old character Teddy is a much more successful critical thinker than the university professor. Um, I believe Teddy has the advantage of not being influenced by the harshness of the world and has an open mind to concepts while having an honest and pure perspective like most kids do. His ability to see things for what they are and match them with relevant circumstances that he faces is a gift and a sign of good critical thinking. And he has the potential to get better and deeper with time and age. Um, I think his wisdom is really innate and um he has he has some sort of intellectual gift that comes from not thinking not logically um in the part where he's discussing the adam um the apple that adam ate um i believe he explained his theory as um the apple being logic and my interpretation of this analogy is that nothing in the infinite is logical. Um, when when there's a certain magic within every, uh, there's a certain magic within everything that caused it to become what it is. We must let go of all logic in order to understand the bigger picture. And I also think that um, the apple, if you consume too much information, it'll kill you like it did Adam, like it. Um, I think that's where Teddy was going with that whole thought process. Um, the information stifles your connection to the spirit. I don't want to get too existential or whatever, but that's that's my interpretation of it. Like, um, in order to see everything for what it is, you have to, like Teddy says, throw it up and analyze it. So you take what you know. And in order to get to the bigger picture, we must look at how we look at things and force ourselves to look at everything differently. So I think that's what he means by throwing up and looking at the apple, the apple being logic. An, yep. an example, uh, an example of Teddy's interesting critical thinking and perspective is when the orange pills are dumped out the port hole. I thought um, you can see his introspective way of thinking about situations every, and that everything down to trash being dumped in front of him is analyzed and significant. Um, also, his parents know that he's a genius. Well, the, everyone's considering he, him a genius, but to him, he's just, this is normal for him, his thought processes. Um, he's... Um, an example of him being a good critical thinker um, and, and being aware of biases, Teddy seems to be consistently aware of biases overall, despite his contrary beliefs about how emotions are important. He is aware that a lot of people feel differently than him and is considerate about it. And the part where um, my mother and father don't think a person's human unless he thinks a lot of things are very sad or very annoying or very, very unjust, sort of. My father gets emotional even when he reads a newspaper. He thinks I'm inhuman. This is an example of his awareness of biases against him, but through this knowledge, he adjusts and acts accordingly. Like, and you see that with him knowing all this stuff and seeing his interaction with his parents in the morning time before he goes to the deck, um, he still, to them, is a little boy, but in actuality, his thought processes are much bigger than the immediate and what's happening. It's a bit deep. But yeah, that's just where I'm at with that. That's it. Thank you.